we're not in the conversation. So since we're not in the conversation, the best thing we can do is go knock on somebody's door and get a job. <clears throat> well, a job is okay, but guess what? If you've been watching the media, they are cutting jobs. Right. The people who are working are the people who own the factory. They always have a job, as long as somebody's buying their product, whether the workers have a job or not. So we must move to a new level, and that new level is ownership. What this organization will do is we will find and build businesses, build them with the intent of selling them to young entrepreneurs that we will have trained or that will come in trained, take those businesses and move them to the next level on their own if they choose to. If they choose to keep us as a partner, that's also fine. We will remain with them in advisory capacity to help them manage their business. Or some businesses we form, we may like them so much we end up keeping them anyway. Well, again, we will have a for-profit business as well. That business, as it's formed, part of that profit will always funnel into this business. We're going to do exactly what Bill Gates does with Microsoft. We're going to make a lot of money, and we're going to give away everything we make that we don't use for our personal use. And the reason is, that's why God keeps blessing him with Microsoft. Because if you learn to give it, he just keeps giving it back. And you just keep giving it back out. So we set this organization up with that in mind. Let me say this up front, because I don't want anybody offended when they find this out. We didn't set it up to be a local organization. Yes, we're going to have an impact on the local environment, and I'll tell you about eight ways coming right up in a minute. Yes, we're going to have an impact on the local environment. By that, I mean not just the village of Maywood, but also every black, every African-American child that's possible, and any other child as well. African-American is in the name, but that's because we are African-American. It has nothing to do with the people we will help. We'll help anyone that we can. But we're going to have immediate impact in the local area. But as the brothers can tell you, they've seen the plans. It's also set up to be on the national level, where chapters will be opened in other cities, and also set up to be on the international level. Uh, certain African countries that I have friends in are chomping at the bit to get their hands on what we're doing so they can take it to the next level there. So we're setting it up with that in mind. That said then, let me mention one thing that I do not wish to forget. Bill Hampton was kind enough at my request to bring these tonight. And these are books of the assassination of Fred Hampton. Tonight if you buy it, Bill will autograph it and Mom Hampton will autograph it as well. This will be the first book in our book club series. Just so you know, we will have a book club series. One